I have a message that I think can help you both personally in your own life as well as in your leadership and the work you're doing with congregations. I'm going through transition. Lots of people are going through transition these days. And hope is indispensable when we're in transition, when we're looking to change our lives, when we're looking to improve our lives, when we're looking ahead to see where we want to go and how we need to get there. And I received a fresh insight into hope when reading Benjamin Hardy's new book, Be Your Future Self Now, that not only has been working and helping me personally, but this is also this idea, these ideas I think are so relevant as we work with congregations who desperately need us to be dealers in hope. So let's look at this. And the basic point of what I want to say is that hope in the future gives meaning to the present. So what is true hope versus just a wish? And I've talked about this before, but I haven't had all three of these elements, which, elements, which I think helps this even more for us to think about hope and then apply it to our, to our lives and to our situations. Well, first of all, hope starts with having a clear and specific goal. You have to determine who you want to be, what you want to become, where you're going, what needs to change in your life. You need to have a goal. Congregations that have hope have a destination they want to get to. They have a, a kind of church that they want to become. And in transition, oftentimes the goal is we want to be healthy enough so that we're ready to invite in the next senior pastor. For you and, and I in our own personal lives, our goal may be to live a full life on purpose, helping the people with our gifts and talents to the best of our ability. We need a goal, and that is a part of hope that is so critically important. Who do you want to become? And one of the things that Daniel Hardy talks about is, look at yourself five, ten years from now, and who is the person that you see yourself becoming? And describe that as clearly as you can. An exercise that I've been doing as I think about my life and where do I want to be five years from now? Who do I want to be? Who are the people I want to impact in my future? And craft that goal and describe that future as best as you can. I've done that over my life at different stages and it's been an indispensable part of hope. But that's only one part. The second part is hope is, yes, a specific goal. It's also agency thinking and doing. And I love what Benjamin Hardy says about this. He says, agency thinking is a belief you have control over what you do, that your actions matter, and you can impact the results in your life. It's so important for us not to feel like, well, it's not really up to me to change who I am or to shape my future. It's up to my environment or those people outside of me that are going to help me and come to my rescue. And I think for both personally and our congregations, we need to remind ourselves that we have choices that we can make on a daily basis. We need to take agency, make choices on how we think and act so that we can be a part of shaping that future that future that we're becoming, that future that our congregations are becoming. It's so important to include in hopefulness agency. The third aspect of hope is that we need pathway thinking and doing. Again, here's what Benjamin Hardy says about this. He says, pathway thinking is where you see a path, you have a path, or you can create multiple paths for where you are now to your goal. And that is so important where we not only have a goal, not only realize that we can actually do something about our lives, but we need these pathways so that we can actually get from where we are to where we want to get to. That can include outside people to come and help us. That's the role of the transitional leader. So many times in churches that need hope, they need pathways, they need tools, they need approaches methodologies to get them from where they are to what they're imagining themselves to become. So this kind of hope, true hope, is what helps us give meaning to the present. And I'm doing this in my own personal life. I'm 
imagining where do I want to be in my life? Realizing that I can actually impact that. I can do something about it based on my choices. And pathway thinking, thinking about who are the people that are going to help me? And I'm working with some congregations and we're doing this scenario planning, which is very much about creating a future scenario a 10 years out of what's possible, what could happen in our congregation. And it's a wonderful example of bringing hope into a congregation where there's a clear goal that's described. There's the realization that we can actually impact that destination. And then it's the pathway partially is started by creating the scenario. And then the work, you go to work once you pick your destination and put more details to it. Hope is indispensable personally, corporately, in our families to have it so that we can have meaning for and in the present. Have a great day.